you can take a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. And sometimes that's knowing is the start, knowing what to do is a good start, doing and doing it on a consistent and repetitive basis, that's what makes the big difference. So I've been a runner for almost 20 years of my life. I've ran 209 for the marathon. I've worked with some of the best sports psychologists in the world, you could say. Under Armour set me up with some fantastic psychologists to really get an edge on that competition and handling race day better. Let's be honest, running can be very, very hard work, very, very tough on the psychology and the body physically, of course but we can learn to help ourselves. Journaling is a means to help yourself handle life better, handle sport better, and just handle the day-to-day -day training better. I've been using journaling for the last five years of running, and even on the worst days, I lean on that journal to pretty much pick me up, perhaps if I've not had the greatest day, or maybe I'm just zoning in on the negative and I need to move to something positive, something like gratitude journaling. Before I get into the five tips, what you need to do is just start. Journal anything. This is not writing a fucking novel. This is just writing some things down. Get in the habit of writing things down. Well done today. You did great today. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself about today. You can use journaling as a means to just support yourself a little bit better. And it's almost like self-therapy, but it's also a tactic to be better at running. I think you should have a physical journal. There's something about pen and paper, writing it down. Don't worry about being neat or tidy. Just get it written down. Start and have a physical journal. That's the first two little bits before we get stuck into these five tips for runners and journaling. Okay, so my first tip is review the day, analyze the day, break it down. What went well? What didn't go well? Did you do your easy run too quick? Did you let something at work bother you? Did a comment, you know, get underneath your skin? And then that meant instead of going out and doing your easy run, did you perhaps push it too fast? Was the weather annoying you, the wind annoying you, the rain annoying you? Did you push your run too fast? Should you have rested today because something's been hurting and you didn't? Writing down a, how did I do today? is the only way that you can start holding yourself accountable to what you might do tomorrow. This is a place to be completely honest. Why did you fuck that up today, John? Why do you always push tempo? Then it's a place to reassure yourself, okay, we did do that, but we're gonna start working on that. Let's explore that, let's talk about that. Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep making these same mistakes? Why did I get so nervous about today's tempo run? Why did I get so nervous about running with other people? This is a space to analyze how did the day go. Write it all down, and then as we move on to tip number two, you can plan for the next day. Tip number two, plan for tomorrow. I am absolutely certain that I'm not the only athlete in the world that has woke up and had this big lease of motivation and allowed emotions to control the day. I'm sure I'm not the only athlete to wake up and those emotions start talking. You haven't done enough training for this next race. You're not fit enough for this next race. That rest day, that easy day, it's out the fucking window. That ain't happening no more because your little emotional brain, it knows best, it knows better. So plan in a way that when you wake up, you're leaving emotions out of the equation. You're waking up, you're looking at the plan, and maybe even you're writing down a new plan in the morning. I plan to have a fucking epic day today. I plan to run super easy so that in my next hard session, I'm ready to go. I plan to stretch today because that's what I need to do. I plan to work on my yoga. I plan to do some meditation today because I've been letting things bother me a lot lately. You don't just have to plan for training, you can plan for recovery, nutrition. I plan to drink 
lots of water today because I've not been working on my hydration. I plan to get into bed early tonight because I've been guilty lately of binging on Netflix at night time. Use that daily plan as a means to improve your every day. If you start to improve your every day, guess what? Your training and your races, they're going to get better. I promise you. I use that daily plan to just remind myself of the little things that I need to work on each day. And once I write it down, it's that little reminder, yes, that's important. Let's work on that today. Journal and tip number three. Write down things that you're grateful for. Runners are the world's worst at thinking about the next tempo session, thinking about how amazing life will be when you're a bit faster, a bit fitter. How amazing it'll all be when you've lost a little bit more weight. How about just writing down some things that went well that day? How about just writing down that you're grateful that you're still in a position to better yourself, self-improvement? How about writing down that your body's healthy and you're grateful for that? You're grateful for being able to run even if it's not quite at the speed that you'd like it to be at yet. I am the world's worst at beating myself up internally. All day, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? I try to carry 10 shopping bags from the car into the house and I drop something and I'm, what the f blah, 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 blah. Writing down some things you're grateful for is so important. It just reminds you that you're not all bad, that some of the stuff you do is actually really good. That positive reinforcement leads to you working on the things that really help and doing them in a positive way. Remind yourself that you're out there working hard. Remind yourself that even if the session didn't go the way you wanted, that you got up off the fucking couch and you did it. Remind yourself that you're just grateful for fresh air. You're grateful for having the opportunity to bloody go run in this world that literally can flip upside down before we know it, like COVID. And so just be grateful that things aren't always so bad. They're, they're not always as bad as you think. You can be grateful for your partner. You can be grateful that you can afford dinner. You can be grateful that you have running shoes. Some people in the world don't. We have so much to be grateful for that we don't appreciate what we have. I've went through all sorts of mental, not breakdowns, but psychological struggles. I sat in a room full of iPads, Normatex, MacBooks, lovely car, but I just didn't appreciate it. I thought I need to fucking walk around this house and hug everything that I own just to see it. I just stopped reminding myself how good I had life because I was continually beating myself up about where I wanted to be, how good I wanted to be at running, where I wanted to be in life. I stopped appreciating what I had right in front of me. So write down some things you're grateful for. It'll really cheer you up and it helps sleep. <laughs> okay, so your fourth tip today, plan your races. This is likely going to be the best tip of the day. If you write down how you're planning to execute a race, it's giving yourself that reminder that entire final week before a race, what you plan to do. Put your hand up if you've made a right mess of race day. Put your hand up if when the gun's gone, you've got all excited and gone too quick. Put your hand up when you run past your friends and family or the big crowd at London Marathon or Dublin Marathon. You, you get all excited and you push too hard. What you need to do is write down exactly what you plan to do. I know it's going to get super exciting, but I'm going to go off at the speed that I know I'm capable of. I know it's going to feel easier at the beginning of the race, but I'm going to be disciplined, I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to trust that all the hard work I've done is going to pay off in the second half of the race, and I can speed up then. I don't need to go super quick at the start. Planning race day can also be things like, don't let anxiety overwhelm you. That's where I would write things down that I know potential hurdles that might come up on race day, I know how to handle them better, because I've written it down in the plan, then I've visualized that happening. If the worst should happen, if, if one of your nemesis, one of your rivals, one of the people you hate to race against because it just gets under your skin, 
You can visualize that person sitting on you. How annoying would that be? How much would you let that beat away at your psychology? In your little race plan, you can actually write down, that might happen. And if that happens, I'm not gonna let it bother me. Because if I let it bother me, I might speed up, I might go too hard, too soon, and struggle. Then the end of the race is ruined because you've let something get under your skin. That's the way to do it. Plan, visualize, and then execute. And you'll have some of the best races that you've ever had, I promise. Okay, so the final tip for runners, tip number five, write down those big goals that you have. Don't be afraid to dream big. You don't have to share this stuff with anybody. This is all for you. I think writing down our goals makes it real. And then you can start to map out how you might achieve that goal. What are some of the things might hold you back? What are some things that you're gonna to have to start working on? What are some things you're gonna to have to start putting down in your daily planner, in your journaling, that you're gonna take care of that day? This is not something you have to share with anybody, but it makes it real for you. You can literally write down that goal every day. Before the Olympics, 2020 and I was training so so hard to try and qualify I used to write down those things I'm grateful for and at the end of every day I would sign it and write Tokyo 2020 that was my way of reminding myself every day what was it all about what was it all for write down some goals even if they scare you right now just start to visualize and see them happening and work on those things that you need to work on to help make that happen okay so i hope you enjoyed that if you're sort of unsure about it right now just try it this is really powerful you have to start seeing your journaling as a daily contract with yourself kobe bryant said he used to write down things that he was going to work on in training for the entire year and then he would sign it at the bottom and that was his contract i was about to say daily contract but we'll get to that that was his contract with himself that he did not plan to break. So if you write down that you're gonna take your easy run easy and then you sign it as your daily contract, I go daily because I'm quite forgetful. But if you write down that you're gonna take that easy run a bit easier and then you don't do it, what does that say if you can't even keep a contract with yourself? So only write things down if you know you're gonna to stick to it because this is real. Once you write it down, once you sign next to that, sign that dotted line, it's real and you're planning to stick to it. So be <laughs> responsible with what you write down, but use it to help your running. Use it as an advantage. If you want more stuff on running improvement, nutrition tips, recovery tips, psychology tips, I set up a running school to help people that wanted to be better, that perhaps just didn't know what to work on recovery, psychology, nutrition, etc. It's all there. 60 lectures, 12 hours of tips, it's a lot. There's probably a lot of time I need to go back and watch some of this stuff myself because, yeah, you can take a horse to water but you can't make a drink and sometimes that's, no one is the start, knowing what to do is a good start. Doing and doing it on a consistent and repetitive basis, that's what makes the big difference. So I do hope you start working on some of this. I do hope you start including some of this journaling and what you're doing. And I really hope your running goes better. And don't be so hard on yourself because running can suck at times. The human body is, is exactly what it is. It's the human body and we don't always pick which days we feel really good on. But at the very least, write in your journal each night, well done for giving it a go. Because it's easier to quit. <laughs>